interested in eating. His family could tell something was wrong. As a pasta owner, um, you know that's a real sign, then he had a little bit of a mild cough. The McLeans were part of an ongoing Duke University study testing households to learn about the virus. Three of them found out they were positive for COVID-19. So they weren't, they weren't surprised when researchers told them Winston had it too. He constantly follows my mom around the house and sleeps in my bed. Bad. Experts say Winston probably got it from his humans, not the other way around. They don't believe people can get Get it from pets. As we better understand those transmission dynamics, um, and particularly in the household, particularly among pe people, it helps us guide uh, and focus where our intervention should take place. The researchers at the Duke are using their own tests on animals, not taking a commercially available test away from people. The USDA is investigating Winston's results, but last week confirmed two house cats in New York had the virus. Eight, eight lions and tigers at the Bronx Zoo also tested positive. Symptoms in pets are similar to hu humans, including a cough and runny nose. CDC guidelines say to treat pets as you would other human families. Family members, try to socially distance and keep them away from others who may be infected. Winston's family says he's feeling much better, as are they. Whatever researchers can learn from us are our animals, we're more than happy to, to, to contribute to that. Set. Hoping their best friend Set. could be a big...